everyone i hope you are all doing well and that school has started or not by the time i'm filming this video my back to school is starting tomorrow in order to start school well and in the right step i will present to you 30 plus back to school hacks for organization, planning, motivation, and productivity. This is the base of my mental preparation for school and these are the best ways that work for me and most people I know. If you want more study hacks, go check out my other video. The thing for me is when I'm comfortable, motivated, and just mentally ready, that is how I study well and succeed well in school. Let's start this off with motivation and self-care hacks. What helped me get into the rhythm of school is to be active my own way. I like to go walking outside and riding my bike, also doing some skateboarding. You can have your own sport or own movement ideas. Basically be active your own way, how you feel like it. Many people I know listen to some music while studying or just at school if you are permitted. A self-care hack that I have put on for many years is to have always my water bottle with me at school. Sometimes it's just to keep my hands busy in class or to drink water because it's really important for hydration. Please use a reusable water bottle or if you use a plastic one, recycle it after. My bestie suggested that I should put on this hack in this video is to put stickers on your binders or decorate them in any way, shape or form that you want. For each subject, each color, each sticker, a habit that is really important is to wake up a bit earlier to eat breakfast. But I'm telling you, it's the one that helped me the most. A habit that I'm currently working on is to know my limits and my time periods and to know when I'm tired or when I have enough of it. So I suggest that you do the same if you are not already into this little cycle, which is why the Pomodoro technique works for a bunch of people too to manage their time and energy if you have a uniform at your school i would definitely tell you to make it cute to make it more stylish if you are permitted only maybe some cute glasses cute jewelry belts and chains and if you can choose your shoes for your uniform while wearing appropriate clothing you know then is to have your self-care supplies in your bag in your locker you can have a little pouch with some self-care supplies just like a hairbrush home whatever you want when you feel fresh at school you can just you know put some lip balm or hand cream and if you have your period of course i suggest that you always i mean always have some period supplies in your locker or your bag or both now i'll explain some study hacks one that helped me so much last year is to have some audio files to listen to like you record yourself reading out loud and then you re-listen to it while you're in the bus while you're at home whenever you want and it helps you memorize it so much you can also have an extra school supply area in your room or wherever you want to have some extra pens pencils coloring pencils highlighters so that when you run out of them at school you can just grab one from home the next day when the weather is nice and comfortable you can study outside if you have an appropriate space to help you stay in your study spot, you can have a drink or chew some gum, have a glass of water or any drink you want or some food. You can also have a blanket on you. That just makes you cozy and wanting you to stay at your study spot. Also, have your phone away. I like to read some books during the school year because it helps me concentrate. Depending on you and how you are in concentration, then my last study hack is to know your best study times. Do you work better at night, during the day, or in the morning? Do you work well when you have a hard one hour or a short 15 minutes? You can experiment and adjust yourself depending on your own study times. Let's move on to morning and night routine hacks. When I get home from school, I usually write down what I have to do at night before the next day and relax and listen to music, for instance. That's a little routine that I've just made up in my head. Then is to have your own morning routine and night routine. Go watch my previous video about that. It could help you a lot to get in the cycle of school and also to not be late or to have regular sleeping times. Let's remember that we all have different schedules and different 
habits. Please have your own sleeping and waking up times. It helps me so much because it's just a regular pattern and you will not be as tired as if you go to bed whenever you want. We all have different hours and sleeping needs, but at least eight hours. Then to make your school lunch and snacks and also breakfast if you want the night before. Also to pack your bag the night before and your outfit also. A time-saving hack is also to not do your homework in the morning if it's the due date. I think that some people work really well in the morning and some people work really well at night. Now for sleeping well, you could put your phone on the other side of your bed like that you actually need to get up on your feet to reach your phone in the morning with your alarm. That way you are already up ready to move when you turn off your alarm and you won't go back to sleep that easily. Then to put you in your good mood for school, put on your favorite music as your alarm. That's what I do. It puts me such in a good mood and you can always change the music depending on which ones you like the best at the time. Now let's move on to scheduling hacks. It depends if you are more of a tech person or a paper person. Before I used to plan everything and write everything by paper but now I plan everything by my computer and my iPad. So find your way. On Pinterest you can find so many printable calendars but you can also download them and use them on your computer or iPad however you want. There are many apps that exist with a really cute version of calendars and list making. To always have a calendar or a planner I always have my school schedule in my camera roll, on my phone, my iPad, and my MacBook. Usually for the beginning of the year, it's really helpful. I have three calendars. I have my school agenda for everything in school and school work. I have my regular calendar with activities and appointments. And I have my daily calendar on my notes. You don't have to be as organized as me or as specific. Just <laughs> different people work at different paces and have different different methods. I am a really specific and organized person. You do not have to copy me in any way, shape or form. I do not have any games or social media on my iPad because I will bring it to school. First of all, I don't think we're allowed really. And second of all, it's just a really bad distraction. The last hack bracket of this video will be the organization hacks. Have a school bag and lunchbox which is big enough to contain all of your books for your own periods and to have enough food for the day. Also a big water bottle so you don't have to refill it every single class. Organize by color your school subject materials just like math can be blue or science could be green. This hack works well for binders, pencils, pencil cases, highlighters, notebooks and many more. Also to have matching supplies you could also like buying some aesthetic school supplies or to make some of your own. There are many DIY videos on YouTube or probably many aesthetic school supply videos. If you want some ideas for your school supplies, you can go check my previous video on back to school shopping and haul. Also, in my online school vlog video, I will show you a bunch of aesthetic school supplies I used to have. You can also clean your room and your study space or desk regularly to have a fresh new room and study space. And my last hack for you is to clear your devices before school starts. If you use your computer or iPad for school or other devices, you can also clean up some old documents, old pictures, old music to make space for new documents coming for the next year. My back to school hacks video has come to an end. I am really happy to share my tips with you guys because so many people tell me Oh Marie, how are you so organized, so motivated, so productive? Well, I am telling you all my tips. Click subscribe down below so you don't miss out on any video and if you have your own personal hacks, you can also write them in the comments, leave a like and turn on your post notifications. Have a great start for school and I will see you guys in my next video. Oh, 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 oh,